Welcome back to another episode of GTA 4 where we are enjoying the taxi. No, 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 no. I said taxi. And we're gonna go to Bernie. To a crazy gay man. To see what the craziness is gonna happen here. If he's gonna save somebody watching him again or something. Come on! You've got to be kidding me! But, 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 but I'll be thrown in jail! I'm not legal! <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey! This is for real! Jesus H, Nico! I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh man, I am cold. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No. But he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah. Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. Well, how about a sports car? It's not big, but it should be intimidating. Jump in. All right, hun. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. Okay. We're going. Now we're going fast. With Come smile on the face. Think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting. They don't even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them! Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some blood what do you mean? We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way! Okay. I hope there's gonna be kids or something. It'll be quite funny as well. Yeah. That's down. Calm down. The car hurts, not you. Okay, where are we going now from here? Where's Bryce? We wanted to speak to him, not his red boys. Listen. You're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Visa News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How do you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. <laughs> Fucking Dmitry. Ooh, old friend. Come on, get away. I'm trying to. Come down, guys. Do they know what they're doing here? What the hell? What right do they have to jeopardize Bryce's career? Our relationship! 
the whole life we have What the hell are they doing? What about the life Bryce built with his wife? That bitch! She's just in it for the status. She doesn't love Bryce like I do. All she sees in Bryce is meat coats and dinner party invitations. Oh boy. What she and I have is real, you know? You can feel it deep down inside. He may be a nasty hypocrite, but okay. he's fine. Now come on! Get them! What the? ruin Bryce if they escape, Nico! Bernie, I can't concentrate with you talking. Okay. My gosh. Come on, Tara, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This doesn't look good, sweetie. I see them, I see them. Oh there you are. Good. Please, Nico, get them! I'm trying. Please, shut up until this is done. I'm going to handle this. Yeah. We are moving on the For some people it takes All right. a few. All right. The guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. Yep. You can go home and have a drink. And you can like dream about so we were just meant to scare them? Nice holidays or something. That didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or go to the papers. Dimitri is too much of a wreck to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating your choice is your choice, man. But they should have thought about who you are before getting elected on the family values. He preaches homosexuality yep. as evil. It's insanity. He's a hypocrite. And it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. You don't normally talk yeah, it's story. a little bit of a depressing friend, information, to be honest. I will try to help. Come on, car, don't grab the engine, just go. Oh, my lord, another one. Okay, now you just need to go a little bit more strike. Why? He's scared. Alright. Go home and cry in a pillow. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. Boom, boom, ba -da -da boom. Hello, Mr. Policeman. There's a, there's a sports car for you. I have. So where to? So we need to go to Beaver. Let's try and see Jimmy. I haven't spoken with Jimmy before. Okay. Oh, this is his own house, huh? Hey, Jimmy. <coughs> yeah? I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him. Or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. B. I'll deal with this. Yeah. I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. 
organized crime my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem, and you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me, I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake? A historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime. I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pedro hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss, salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> in a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. Are you trying to buy your boss? Even though he's got more money than you, probably? Jimmy's on his way. Wait, wait, Nico, wait. Right? Skipper said you'd be driving. The sit down's over at the old refinery in the Actor Industrial Park. Okay. Are they going? Oh. Man. Alright, dude, come on. Get in the bloody car. What are you waiting for? Oh, anyway. Let's go! I'm waiting for you, your small little legs. You guys all friends now? Nice. You best well. hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well. He's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses would be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The battles wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little yep. offer, little skip. They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate yeah. out here from time to time. Pavanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask them for a favor. You can't okay. be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. 
I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one okay. turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! <laughs> you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond uh. fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Huh. All right. You did this, Skip. Well, if you're so clever. smart. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! That's a strange location to meet up. Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Thanks, Bert. How about the magazine? Go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. Okay. Let me just run up. And up. And up. And up. In me here. <laughs> Okay. What's happening? Everybody all right? Somebody else? Can I... Can I go down now? I feel like I should. Eh, come on. Stay there for a bit longer. I'm coming. them the fucking Pavanos if the rest of the commission knew they did this I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms the motherfuckers trying to whack me at a sit down oh boy they're trying to make off with my tribute the fucking nerve we're gonna ice those fucks Nico Ball bastards. People like that give Italians a bad name. Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know. They didn't even send a fucking topo. Oh, this is a desperation. Oh. What? Wait, what? What? 
What? Bad that gift got destroyed, Mr. Pegorino. I'm sure it was real nice. Maybe you can pick up another one on Craplist.net. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that cousin of yours. He won't be in no danger sleeping in your Algonquin pad by yourself. Oh, I did mess up, okay. I was a bit confused if it was, uh... Oh, no. For you, you stinking man. Alrighty, now we are back in the business. I'm gonna try and see if I'm not gonna mess up again. Alright, skip that. Get in the car. Get Picarina's offering back from. The fucking Pavanos! If we kill every one of them slime balls, then maybe the other families will give me their seat on the commission! Fucking Liberty City families! Get them, Nico! I'm doing my best! Yeah, well, best ain't good enough! I did my best. Made a name for the Pegoritos. Earned a lot of good money for okay. a lot of bad people. And this happens. They try to fucking kill me! Well, at I'm least not... they had the respect to do it to the meat. They didn't come to your home while you and your wife were sleeping. Let's make them wish they were never born! We better not be getting what? I'm just not... Just not sure what I'm, suppo what I'm supposed to do. Am I just going after them? The dumb fucks have crashed! Go get my gift and make I those tricks pay! Oh, shit! We got to go! go. I'm staying here and there's a fucking wound! Hey. Come on, gift. Come back. <laughs> Give me your gift, stinking man. And now we're gonna go backwards. How did I get here? Oh, this way. Go this way. Have a medkit here. Whoop. 
There you go. There's there your you gift. Go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. Go. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alden, eh? Even if it don't, then El Donquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their well, shoulders. Well, I guess they're doing about Marco and Pete. whatever Marco you don't want them to do. Oh, yeah? Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seem like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. Okay. It's that simple. Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position. Either Whoa, because they know hell. too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his okay. nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. Oh, you see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! Don't worry, I'm totally not Italian or Irish. Yeah, I can get you respect. Respect by power. Jerry Acorn, do weasel news. We use a sneasel. They indicated that it's much more important to pay three stadiums for millionaires to grab their nuts and run in a circle than find schools. Weasel News agrees. Weasel News agrees. You can never go wrong with this kind of fusion. All right, pal. You own. You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes, literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Arrivederci to you too, my sir. What do you want, Bruce? Give me a call when you're killing people that work here. Okay. There's a call. This is Brucey. I'm pushing it to the max. Roll it deep, baby. Leave. I'll leave a message. Oh my lord, you do schnuzzle. Come on. No. I didn't want to steal your stupid car, I wanted to drive from you. Gosh darn it. Is there a taxi please somewhere? There is a taxi. All right. Give me a ride, please. Help you guys. Where to? On the streets. Let's go, Bohem. Let's go, Broker. I see you, Dukes. Sure. Hope you guys had fun as I had. That's about all. Nico Bellic. What do you want, Dimitri? Oh my gosh, what? There was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bright Dawkins. And burning crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. 
All right. Like I said, I hope you guys did have fun as I did. Let me know down in the comments if you did. Leave a like. And if you don't want to miss the next episode, please subscribe and I'm going to catch you then. As this episode, it's right.